Welcome to the North Group Podcast. At North Group, we're constantly invited into organizations in order to influence leadership and organizational behavior. It is absolutely fascinating. I'm your host, Roger North, and we'd like to invite you into that conversation. We are continuing our podcast series where we have chosen commonly spoken idioms or sayings, Mm -hmm. and I invite a guest to uh, converse with me about the degree to which they're true, helpful, and, and, and we do this by putting it in a context of, of leadership, of organizational development, because that's the business we're in. So I'm here with my uh, very good friend, my colleague, my partner of uh, 11 years Almost. now. Almost. Mr. Jerry Murray. Jerry, welcome. Thank you. And you chose this idiom, this phrase, really surprised me when you sent this one to me. You chose slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Why did it surprise you? Well, it just, I don't know. It just it is an intuitive response. Well, I know one reason, because I was thinking about the two of us. We have a lot of similarities. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of things in common. And I think the way we generally conduct ourselves as leaders mm-hmm. and business people and, and maybe fathers and husbands do is pretty similar. Yeah. We, have a, we have a lot in common. So I was thinking about this and I was thinking that generally speaking, I think steady yeah. re- applies pretty well right. to you. And I think it applies to me. We're both pretty routine-oriented, right. habit-oriented. We're trying to cultivate better habits. But slow, mm-hmm. I don't think that applies. Mm-hmm. You know, We're both seen sometimes doing things like actually running through the office or right. taking steps two at a time because right. we're trying to cut the amount of time between you know meetings or get to serve a client or be on time. So when you thought of this, why, why did you choose slow and steady wins the race? How do yeah, you want well, to dissect that? Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. When I looked at the, the phrase slow and steady wins the race, I kind of separate the speed element from the steadiness. Element. Okay, I like that. So, uh, And I look at them differently. You know, does fast or slow matter as much as steadiness or, mm. you know, hot and cold mm-hmm. type of thing? Mm-hmm. And I think that, that we can draw some, some good comparisons and some good, you know, cause and effects from both of them. And, that, and that's why... I thought about it. I also, for some reason, I connected this phrase to the old fable, the tortoise mm-hmm. and the hare. I thought of that too, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a short story. Yeah, there's uh, some some smack talk between a tortoise and a hare, mm-hmm. and the tortoise says, oh, yeah, bring it on, let's race. Mm-hmm. And the hare, being very confident, said, okay, let's do it, takes off way ahead, takes a nap. The tortoise passes the hare mm-hmm. uh, while he's napping, and eventually wins the race, the tortoise, or the hare wakes up too mm-hmm. late. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the the uh, the idea from the story is, hey, consistency is going to beat careless speed over the long haul. And um, I think one of the reasons why that story came to me is I'm from Maryland, as you know, mm-hmm. right? Yes, you're from the state of Maryland. Yeah. They have a university there, don't the they? University of Maryland. What is their That's, mascot? Their mascot is... The terrapin, which in essence is a turtle. So a terrapin Did, is a turtle. It is. Okay. That's right. And you can see a, a picture of of their their turtle, I'm sure, if you go to their, their website. But I was a University of Maryland fan for particularly mm-hmm. basketball uh-huh. growing up. Big fan of a number of those teams, including the national championship team back in the early 2000s. But uh, it, it was always uh, peculiar to me why they chose <laughs> a turtle to represent <laughs> athletics. That would be interesting to know yeah. how they ever came up with that. Yeah. I, I did some research. It's very basic. You know, someone, uh, a fellow that was on staff, uh, probably in the athletic department back in the 1930s, so 80 years really? ago. Uh, 90 years ago, um, lived on a waterway in Maryland, and there were a lot of turtles in the waterway where he lived, and so he chose the terrapin. But inc- incidentally, it's a diamondback terrapin, so it sounds a little bit more, you know, angry, a little bit more uh, <laughs> sharp and athletic. Some aggression to it somehow. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how much that affected him. But the tortoise and the hare being the what I thought about also just as uh, the the common themes from this slow and steady wins the race. So if we would think about this phrase, um, I'm guessing you would say that I— I wouldn't be able to tell you whether slow and steady was applicable until I knew what the race was. Yeah. Yeah. And so how would you how would you dissect that? You're right. Because if the race is a sprint, you better be fast. Yeah. yeah. If the race is something beyond a sprint, when yeah. you think about business, usually it's beyond a sprint. Yeah. Then uh, steadiness comes into play. Mm-hmm. But uh, wh- what is the race? What is success? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. thinking about it, I think. 
um, is different for everyone, and it should be different for everyone. We've all been wired and gifted mm -hmm. with, with different uh, wirings and giftings and uh, love the creativity of, of the God that made us all uh, for that purpose. But um, uh, it, it can be different. But I think largely when I think of this, success is getting to a, a place of comfort. And I'm not saying that that should be the highest calling, but when I think of this slow and steady wins the race, a place of comfort, we've delivered a product to the market. Were mm -hmm. we fast to the market? Mm -hmm. Or did we deliver kids to school? Did mm -hmm. we <laughs> get them mm -hmm. where they should be on time? Uh, and, th and that's a thought that goes through our minds a lot. It's not the only thought. It's not the highest thought. But when we think of a race, you know, did we, mm -hmm. did we finish to a point that, okay, now we can relax, we can enjoy our time, we can know that that, that race affected us physically and so a I was thinking way. about a couple of uh we'll put races in in yep. air quotes here that you and I would have in common now certainly one of them would be business but the one that came to my mind first would be parenting mm -hmm. so you have uh two teenagers right now and one that's just beyond teenager and one that's getting ready to be but you have two teenagers and I I, I think for me slow and steady would have been good advice mm -hmm. while I was trying to be helpful mm -hmm. <laughs> as a parent in the in the teen years because there's just certain things that teens experience mm -hmm. during that period of time that aren't going to be fixed mm -hmm. by dad's usual business approach. It's just yeah. it's not going to work that way. And when I think about the times and there were many times when I was not, where I was able to be patient, to be mm -hmm. able to be slow and steady, and, and almost a this too shall pass, maybe with the attitude of my son, or, you know, when he was 15, he's now a, a highly productive grown man. Mm -hmm. But he um, is. I think back to that, and when I was willing to be slow and steady, and to know that that, that race was not going to be one in one conversation, it was not going to be one in one piece of advice or one month, it seems to me that that won the day in parenting. Uh, I'm wondering what you think about that and then comparing that to how we might function as business people because in some ways we have a, eh, not exactly, but a slightly parental role when we develop people who are perhaps younger or less experienced than us. Can slow and steady apply there as well? Yeah. Hey, there's a phrase that I think will be somewhat familiar to you that I think applies to both, and that is that we want to support the development <laughs> of individuals or leaders and organizations to their highest potential. Our mission statement. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And in the case of, of parenting, when I think of, uh, you know, the, the, the kids in our family, Hannah, Ella, Jared, and Sam, uh, I, I think of you know, certainly wanting to see them reach their highest potential and knowing that it can't all come at once. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if, if I push them or if Kim pushes them to reach a level today that misses several steps, mm -hmm. uh, then we're most likely to, to frustrate them, create unrealistic expectations, maybe cause them to feel a disappointment that isn't meant, uh, that we would never want them to feel. But but more so to realize that change happens incrementally. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. a natural maturation process. It happens when there's grace extended, but some, some tension of uh, learning or experiencing new things or occasionally some discipline or accountability mm -hmm. um, that, that helps. And, and there just needs to be some, some wisdom, uh, some, some prayer, some even conversation and, and, and listening how expectations can be managed uh, within that relationship to see uh, that that person reach their optimum potential. And then how would you pull that over into uh, our dual role? Like you and I are helping to grow and run a business and we have colleagues here and we want to help them grow. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have the privilege of speaking into and influencing our, our, our clients and the development of their leaders and their organizations, their cultures to be uh, productive and encouraging. How does slow and steady apply there and even maybe uh talk a little bit about how our underlying philosophy of uh organizational growth might fit in here mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, again, I want to separate the slow yeah. from yeah. from the steady okay. in the conversation okay. because I, I think steady makes the assumption that we want to reach our, our highest potential or we want to incrementally grow. Mm -hmm. And we believe that about our, our clients. They communicate it to us. A lot of times we start under, understanding what our starting point is, but knowing the direction we're going, that's certainly the case with our colleagues and ourselves mm -hmm. here at North Group. And so the steadiness would suggest there are some areas that we can grow in. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we learn that through self-awareness, yep. um, others sharing things about ourselves, us discovering them on our own, mm -hmm. but being open to hearing those because we believe that if we get better, then our organization can get better. And so viewing ourselves in the context of how our entire organization or how your entire organization can improve gives us the confidence to say, hey, yeah, I, I can improve too, but it incremental is okay and mm -hmm. um uh and it just feels great to see the productivity of that improvement so the steadiness piece comes in with uh some regular intervals of of, of checking in on mm -hmm. the pathway to to that growth and uh some and it's principle based isn't it uh, well ab absolutely uh yeah the uh yeah, we, we, we want to see growth based on a growth in character. We yep. want to recognize that we need to, to own our own behaviors and, yep. and, and take steps on our own. Um, uh, yeah, we want to be consistent with what our organization needs of us mm -hmm. and how we can complement the others in our organization and how we can draw them as well. So there are a lot of dynamics going together mm -hmm. in you know, in this pattern. And what do you think about this? You know, we separated the slow and steady, as I think we should, mm -hmm. because it gives more truth, more veracity, more heft, if you will, mm -hmm. to, to this idiom of steady wins the race. I think in many cases, in many more cases, we could say, yeah, I think that's, I think that's largely true. The slow piece, I would take and say, well, let's talk about pace for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you've heard me say this before, and I'm, uh, but I'd be interested in hearing you comment on it. I often think of my role as, as a consultant and as maybe a, a developer of people as a plus one role. Mm -hmm. And when I mean plus one, I think the large majority of leaders, of people for that matter, that I meet um, s at least slightly and sometimes greatly undervalue their own potential. Mm -hmm. I agree. And when we can call out that potential, it gives us then an opportunity to help them accelerate their growth toward that potential. Mm -hmm. If we do that too aggressively certain negative things happen. Mm -hmm. But if we undervalue that, other negative things happen. Right. So that's where I would think the pace piece would come in. Yeah. Uh, so when we, so I'm going to reflect back to you for a second. When yeah. we see the potential of someone yeah. else and yeah. when we call out that potential yeah. and think about an appropriate increment of growth yeah. as we ex express that, yeah. then, then that creates the pace of change yeah. in an individual and in an organization. Yeah. I completely agree with that. I would also say that uh, different organizations can have different paces. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I would say, too, that the level of steadiness in an organization can operate as a flywheel in increasing mm. the pace. Interesting. But doing so what in do a way— What do you mean by a flywheel? Well, Something yeah. Something that you crank and it gets going faster and faster, and at some point it takes over its own centrifugal force, that type of idea? That's right. We'll just say habit formation okay. is what builds steadiness. Okay. And it takes like a little that. bit of time to build habits, yep. but you know they, they kind of create the trajectory— mm -hmm. Uh, of, of your life mm -hmm. in terms of the habits that yeah, you have. True. And as they become more systematic in your everyday behaviors, then they become more quick. Mm -hmm. uh, and as they become more quick, then your organization and your pace becomes quicker too. Mm -hmm. So as steadiness increases in your organization, then the speed at which your organization moves can also increase. That's really good. How, and in a more sustainable way too. So... The connection I hear you making uh, would be that positive habit formation. Mm -hmm. For me, I immediately think of two things that I have been working on for years. And I think I've gotten better at them, but sometimes I still see myself departing from them. And they're very simple. They're uh, asking questions rather than making statements right. and listening completely and, and, and fully to the response rather than forming my own words or my own response while the other person is speaking. And I go in and out of that. But uh, as that habit forms better, a steadiness comes from that. And I hear you saying that that steadiness, st being steady, 
about applying those practices will accelerate the pace of growth of an individual or an, or an organization. And that's how we would reconstruct maybe this, this statement here. I, I agree. We talk about uh, systems uh, for efficiency, right, yeah. that, that leave uh, humans people for, for creativity. Yeah, people yeah, for sure. creativity. Mm -hmm. And so it's that same thought. Mm -hmm. When we have the habits of the systems that we operate and the behaviors that we employ when we're with mm -hmm. under one another, then we save another element of capacity for the mm -hmm. creativity that then is going to layer on the new things in our organization, help us to continue what, to grow in the speed at which we do What are a couple of uh, habits that you're in the process of forming in your life to create that steadiness, which then in turn helps you to grow, your family to grow, and our business to grow? Yeah, uh, that's a really good question. Uh, let's see, in terms of family, you know, one of the things that I'm developing is a series of, of questions that I ask, ask myself on a daily basis that can help me to know that I'm using my time wisely. Mm -hmm. you know, Kim and I have four kids. I want to spend quality time with each of them mm -hmm. on a daily basis. I want to do something that's going to be physically invigorating, that's going to take care of myself. I'd like mm -hmm. to do something mentally stimulating, mm -hmm. whether it's to read a book or pick up a guitar and strum mm -hmm. it which is more of a wish than something that I'm, I'm good <laughs> at work in progress at, huh? at this point. But the habit is to ask myself a, a question rather than get comfortable when I get home good. after dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, I wake up early. I can get tired if I get too comfortable yeah. quickly and then I can lose an evening and yeah. feel like I didn't use my time wisely mm -hmm. in the business. Uh, we have, uh, several categories of service. One of the ones that I enjoy working on is merger and acquisition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I, uh, kind of ha held solely for a mm -hmm. period of time, but mm -hmm. I just l love the fact that we've developed a team yep. around that service area yep. that's thinking together mm -hmm. and to uh, think team with the development of, of uh, each of our service areas and how I go about serving clients now versus uh, to think individually even mm -hmm. in terms of, okay, what tools do I have in my bag to mm -hmm. serve, serve that client is something that um, brings a lot of new ideas to uh, an area of service mm -hmm. and I think really gives confidence uh, for me in the, the breadth of capacity we have to serve going forward and how excellently we're going to serve because when there are more minds contributing to it, it's just going to be better. So if we would put a cap on this, a summary, we'd probably break down this idiom, this statement into three pieces. Slow, well, you know, not, not so sure that we like that piece of it. Steady. We really like that piece mm -hmm. of it, and you've articulated very clearly that it probably sits in habit formation, mm -hmm. and then that, that's an ongoing uh, being and doing. Habit mm -hmm. formation is about character, but it's also about competence. Right. And then defining the race that we're in. And, right. and, and if we had another 10 minutes, and I'm, uh, I'm not going to do it today, but we have another conversation about that, how important it is to define what success looks mm -hmm. like in whatever race we've been asked to compete in. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times I would say, certainly for me, I choose the wrong scoreboard. Yeah. And choosing that scoreboard is really important when we deconstruct this slow and steady wins the race. So we would say steady wins the race. Yeah. Formation of habits allows us to be steady, but defining success, what that looks like for others mm -hmm. and for us, for our mission as you know, parents, business people, organizational leaders is crucial. I think that's an excellent summary. Yeah, I believe the measure of how steady we are is greater than how fast we are or how slow we are in determining our ultimate success. And uh, yeah, so thanks for having me. Great stuff. We're good. Thanks for listening to the North Group Podcast. For more information about North Group Consultants, please visit northgroupconsultants.com dot com.